Hi there. Today's video is going to be a short one and it's about repeat grid in Adobe XD. So let's get started. I have this document already created and we have this product gallery wherein we need to add products. So let's first of all grab the rectangle tool and create a rectangle much like this. I'd also like to change the corners to rounded corners using the round widget. So let me grab the arrow and pull the widget inward to have rounded corners. And as you can see on the left, I also have this component saved here, which is a heart to signify bookmarked items. So let's click and drag it onto our rectangle. Let's place it at the right spot. And then I'm going to drag the text tool for the name of the product. For now, let's just type in uh, this is a demo as we don't have any product yet and uh, place it in the center. And I think I'll also change the font to humanist and uh, size to about 30. Now, if you want to have a few products here, you'll have to press Shift and Option on a Mac or Shift and Alt on a PC and then drag the rectangle on the right to copy. Something that we'll have to do quite a few times depending upon the number of rectangles we want. And in a situation like this, there could be room for errors, error in spacing or alignment, etc. So let's undo this using Command Z on a Mac or Control Z on a PC. XT has a cool feature of repeat grid that we're going to use today and I'm sure you'll be amazed by this feature. So select your rectangle and then on the right you'll find the option of repeat grid. Just click on that once. The shortcut to repeat grid is command R on a Mac or control R on a PC. The moment you click on repeat grid you'll find two handles appearing around your rectangle one on the right and the other one on the bottom. So just click and drag the handle to the right and you'll find XD creating the copies of the rectangle as you drag. Click, hold and drag the bottom one and it shall copy the rectangles below the top row. Cool, isn't it? Hang on, the fun has just begun. I have a few images that I'd like these rectangles to hold. Now, ideally, I'd have to drag the images and place them one by one. But that's definitely not going to happen today. So let's select our grid and then I have all my images in this folder here. I'm going to select them all and drag them to my repeat grid and you'll find them perfectly placing themselves to the rectangles. Not just that. The grid even created more rectangles to accommodate the extra images, which is just wonderful. That's the beauty of artificial intelligence. It doesn't end here. I have this text file that contains the names of the product. I can even drag this file to the text on the document and you'll find them replacing the existing text. You can always change the text later on as per your requirement though. Uh, one last thing I'd like to talk about before ending our session. When you take your cursor to the padding between the rectangles and click and drag, you'll find it adjusting the spacing evenly. So this is something you can do vertically as well as horizontally. It's such a breather, particularly when you have loads of images that are stacked in rows and columns. It really makes working on such documents a breeze. All right, that concludes our session. I hope you've enjoyed the video and have learned something new from it. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel until we meet again. Goodbye and thanks for watching.